Hey guys, what's up? My name is Gabe, and this is Games with Gabe. This is the next episode in the Jade Engine devlog, and in this episode, what I'm going to be doing is fixing up some of the bugs, like flipping the sprites and stuff from the last episode, and then just trying to wrap up the game. So, uh, one of the best tests of an engine is to see if you can actually write a game in it, and that's the goal of today, is to finish this Mario game, get the camera movement working, get the power-ups working, get uh, the physics really ironed out, and then get like enemies and... Uh, coins and menu systems all that stuff up and running and so that will be the goal of this devlog first thing I'm gonna do is power-ups and I think there's some problems with the physics so fixing that up too so I'm gonna get working on that and I'll update you guys once I get that done hey guys I got a quick update so I have actually made a lot of improvements so now when you test the levels you can see that the question blocks are animating and if you pop one up it pops a mushroom out and you turn into big mario okay so this wasn't too hard to do all that stuff i still have to fix this at uh, these break when you hit it with big mario but there was one huge bug that just plagued me for literally hours upon hours and i could not figure out so i will illustrate what was happening and it was actually really simple once I finally figured out what was wrong. So basically my physics is working fine as you can see. And when you're little Mario and you're just going, but then when you turned into big Mario, you would hit that block and you would glitch through it like that. And I could not figure out for the life of me what was going on. But then I remembered that what I told you in the last video, when Mario is in the world, what we're doing is we're checking a three by three radius around him. We are not checking a four by three, which means that we're not checking this block right above his head. And so literally all I had to do was change this number from two to three, which would give me the proper amount of checks. And then I could detect when you're actually hitting that block. So yeah, now it works. I literally spent hours. I was trying to figure out. I thought there was a bug in my physics code. I could not figure out why it wasn't working the way it should and yeah it was just really bugging me and took me forever to solve but now that i have it solved i'm glad i do and i'm gonna go ahead and implement the rest of the things like breaking these blocks when you're big mario and getting flowers when you're big mario so i have all the stuff in place for that i just don't have the flowers popping out yet and then i'll implement the fire mario so that you can actually shoot fireballs and all that stuff and getting the camera to follow mario as well all right, guys, so I'm going to try and get that implemented real quick, and I will update you once that is all done. Hey, guys, so I figured I would give another brief update. So a few of the things that I've done, I have fixed up some physics, and I have added in a way so that you can change the question blocks. So you just noticed that one of those was a coin, and then one of those was a mushroom. So you click on the question block, and then it lets you choose which power-up you want. So if I change this to a mushroom, then you'll notice that this one will pop out a mushroom and then the next one will pop out a flower because they just pop out whichever one you can get according to what state the player is currently in. So then that one pops out a flower and then this one pops out a coin. Uh, you can break the bricks and everything now. I can't remember if that was in the last update or not. And then last thing that I've added is this layer indicator. So it indicates what layer you're on. And if you use the page up or page down keys, you can switch layers and you can add things behind the player and things in front of the player and if you add things in front or behind of the player uh, they do not count as uh, physics objects so if i put this right here you'll notice the player will go behind it and he does not collide with it so i just thought those were some really cool things they were in the previous feature and i just finally added them to the actual game and we now have this level building capability so we are actually starting to build levels and everything and the next thing that i want to get done is finally adding in the pipes and everything that you can transport through and once i get those added i'll add in a few more of the enemy ai and that should be about it to get the game pretty much complete so i'll update you guys once i get the pipe functionality working correctly Hey guys, I'm back with another quick update. So you see I have some pipes on the screen. Now red means that this is an entrance pipe and orange means it's an exit pipe. So the player goes in here, he exits out this way and same with these ones. 
and I'll show you how you actually add them to the game. So as you can see, it's working like you would expect. Uh, there's an unintended side effect right now where you can go back and forth through the pipes, which I will fix in a minute. But if I add in a pipe, I'll show you how it works. You add the pipe in for the entrance, then you click it. You select what kind of exit you want. So say you want another up exit, you can move this into place wherever you want. And now you have a connected pipe. And if I go through, then I will pop out the other end. So, and that actually pushed me down. And you notice I added another thing, which is camera movement. So if I go to this level that I've been working on, I have a pipe in here that moves you down. And so basically there's three different Y levels, uh, which is just three different areas you can work on, the subterranean, the terranium, so just up here, and then there will be the sky level, which I haven't added yet. So basically the camera will just shift depending on which area the player is in. So you see I shift down. And then once I go through this pipe, I'll shift back up to the terranium level and I will change the background color and everything too. But yeah, so this is working. I just need to add in some enemy AI and then I will time lapse me building level one of Mario. And I will show you guys the finished product once I get that done. So I'll update you guys in just a little bit. Hey guys, what's up? So this is my final update and the game is now complete. There is music, there is pipes that you can go through there's enemies all the things work as they should um, the only thing that I have to add right now is the actual he can shoot fireballs once he's the fire guy but uh, that'll be done by the time this video comes out so this game is complete sound effects everything uh, I'll have a download link in the description and so for the rest of the video I'm just gonna time-lapse me creating this level and playing through the level once just so you guys can see that okay guys thanks for watching and if you want to learn how to do this subscribe and i will be releasing videos in just a few days which i will start a series on how to create this whole thing so i hope you guys like this if you did please hit like and subscribe and i'll see you next time